Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video. Before we get started today, I just want to say as a heads up, I apologize for the lack of videos recently. I thought I was doing a really good job being so consistent and out of nowhere, I, my allergies have kicked in. I don't even know what I'm allergic to. Like I'm struggling to breathe properly and stay awake and stay focused. So I apologize for any all disturbances. Here is about three, four, maybe five hours ago. We have the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies Gameplay Intel Drop. It's only, it's a bit short, but I wanted to do a video on it because I've been trying to do videos on other pieces of zombies content. However, looking back at it, overall, I just don't think they were produced well enough, even with all the editing I had done. And I mean, it was taking me two or three days to get a video out that should take me like less than a day. So I apologize for that. But we have this here. I'm curious to know what they're going to say. I've heard literally the first five seconds and she says something along the lines of there's not another game on the market quite like this. Don't know what that means. Games similar, but I don't know what she, they, she means by games like it. Anyways, let's give us a watch. Let's see what they have to say. This is a gameplay Intel drop. So let's see what's going on. It feels like there's nothing else on the market that can scratch the itch that Black Ops 6 Zombies gives. It's just so fun to play through that gameplay loop over and over again. One of the newest things we have is called Augments, and it's the new way for us to upgrade perks, ammo mods, and field upgrades. We'll give you three major Augments and three minor Augments for you to choose from. So a major augment could would be more drastic. So there's a major augment that will turn into three orbs that will essentially carousel around you and protect you. A minor augment might be mm. stat changes like this napalm burst will now deal slightly more damage. One of our okay. brand new perks, Melee Macchiato, gives you a devastating punch melee. It has a major augment that will improve the melee attack speed for all of your melee weapons. I know perks have been in every game, but the augments really do give a new breadth to perks and using them, adding that customizability to using perks, making it feel individual to the one who's using it. So no perk really feels the same between two players. Augments are a game changer. They allow you so much control over the way you want to play and experience the game. Now we have replaced the armor upgrades in the arsenal with ammo mods. So when you go to the arsenal, you can okay. apply an ammo mod to your weapon and upgrade its rarity. We are bringing all of those back and really just looked at how we could refine it and improve it for Black Ops 6. So you will be able to pick five gobble gums in menus and put those into a pack that you then use inside the match. And in the match, you just find a gumball machine, you go up to it, and then it'll give you one of those gobble gums. And you can choose when you want to activate them, and you can activate multiple at once. They can range from small changes in gameplay to drastic changes and upgrades that can really benefit a player. They can give you all the perks at once or even allow you to fire a weapon without using up any ammunition. They can be really powerful when used in a timely manner. What are they so builds monotone? are great. They allow players to save a build, which includes attachments and blueprints on a weapon. Players to then set that as a zombie build. That means when mm. you're playing yeah, a we match about this. and you access a weapon via a wall buy or the mystery box, you'll get that zombie build in the game. It's at its core a mode that there we was the HUD as well, and the default we just want to continue to push it in new directions to keep it fresh and exciting, but at the same time making sure it's delivering on all the big elements that are core to the DNA of the mode. So we're creating new experiences within that. Hmm, and we'll get to see more at August 28th at, at Call of Duty Next. So that is the that is what they have to talk about. I just wanted to play the the, uh, the video for the first time and then give my thoughts on it and kind of skip through it. I do like the way augments look and sound. I am very interested in how these are going to change the gameplay loop. Now, I'm curious to know, how are we going to earn them? Are we going to earn them by just playing the game? Do we have to use these certain things a lot in order to earn like EXP and the EXP will get augments? Do we get them through missions? Do we get them through killing zombies? Like killing a specific zombie a specific way? How do how do we get these? If they're if it's really tedious, I don't think it's gonna be, some of them might not be worth it, but if they're easy to grab, and anyone can get them then they'll be good and it's the new way for us to upgrade perks that is definitely an augment of some kind like this slide the into this slide into this explosion it's got to be an augment there's no way a perk just does that so that's gonna be really nice okay so let's see let's see we have 
they're showing us already all the all the uh, I guess these are major augments because they're blue and the minor will be in gray or yellow or whatever so you have carousel three energy mines will float around you detonating once an enemy is within the blast trigger radius then we have scatter mine the energy mine will split into three mines and then scatter and detonate one at each time so I guess it would go out normally and then it will shoot three of them and then as a zombie gets in range of one one will pulse and spire instead of detonating energy mine becomes a turret shooting targets one at a time this might be really good this could be really good or really shit. I don't really see a universe where this is okay. And then we have the minor augments. We have high capacity, increases the max charges of an energy mine by one. Frequency boost, increases increased detonation count or duration of the energy mine. And then energy mine now attracts normal zombies for five seconds. I think frequency boost is going to be the most used by a landslide. I think just, incre just a flat increase of duration. That being said, high capacity could also be really good um, with this because if you don't earn energy mine fast, very fast, having two charges may be coming really close. Um, I think Siren's gonna be the worst one though. Attracting normal zombies for five seconds, they're already chasing you. If you just throw it behind you and keep running, it'll just go off regardless. So I feel like Siren is gonna be the least used one here, but it's a cool, cool idea still. I, I, I will say though, I, I mentioned this a little bit earlier. They sound so monotone and they sound so just bored like they, they sound like they're just telling us there's no no passion in this project when they're speaking to us right now do i expect them to be screaming and stuff no but i i would hope they would be excited like when they were telling them we were revealing the game it was it felt like there was excitement around the release there more that they were with, hoping to show us this just sounds like they're just outright telling us I, I, I don't know i don't get a feeling of passion i don't get a feeling of they're excited and that concerns me i'm still going to play it and i'm still personally excited but the fact that i have probably what i think there's four different people up here three of the four people are showing no passion for this project project at least at face value is kind of crazy to me now jack on the other hand jack is speaking about it and three minor augments pretty to choose from so a major augment could would be more drastic so at there's least there's a, major... a there's a motion in jack's voice whereas anyone else is just talking really monotone jack is sounds the most promising to me with this okay the uh, ringing bell will go back and really just looked at how we could refine it and improve it for black ops 6 so you will be able to mm -hmm. pick five gobble gums gobble gums yep we all they, they, it sounds like they're saying pretty standard sounds like they're staying the like almost borderline the exact same from and like and black ops 3 and black gums. and i don't know if they're in black ops 4 black ops 3 the builds are great they allow players to save a build which this is something i'm actually really looking forward to this weapon build system like you can outright see blueprints on a weapon like kind of going forward a little bit the zombie build that means when you're playing that a match you, you get a build a the, 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 the wall weapon no attack you can see it hasn't got the red dot on it it hasn't got the laser but you can see when it comes off the wall it's got a red dot and you can that red right there is the laser or, yeah right here sorry not right there but it's right here that is really interesting to me. i really like that i like the fact that oh if i want to go use whatever gun i want to use no matter how i acquire it i can get the build i need which means like if i need to kill zombies with a certain attachment but i'm really close to finishing the challenge i'm on i can or like two challenges i'm on for example i have a primary and a secondary but there's a third challenge i know i can get a bunch of progression on if it's a wall buy weapon i can just just get the challenges I have in my hands done. I can then run over to the wall weapon, get the weapon with the attachment I need for it, and continue working on it rather than, oh, I have to go, I, I'm not gonna get any more progression, I have to like die, I have to whatever. So this is good, I, I like this a lot, I'm really looking forward to this. This is also an actual look at the HUD, the way they're gonna be displaying it. So the mini map, there's a compass, there's the name with your health point number, shield, they've done this on an Xbox, or at least using an Xbox controller. And um, we also have uh, what looks like salvage, and yeah, ammo, you have your, your your lethal, your tactical, your upgrade down here. And then it looks like with certain ones, you can also change fire mode still, and you have your rounds at the top right. I'm gonna tell you right now, for me personally, the compass is going, the map is going, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I might keep, if I can, I might keep everything just the same. I'll keep my uh, lethals and my and tacticals and stuff down at the bottom right with my, you know, with my uh, ammo, and then I'll keep that at the bottom left. If I can just disable these two things, I might just keep this the way it is for the most part. This looks really clean, really nice. And see live zombies gameplay at Call of Duty next, August 28th. It's the day before I leave for my trip. I don't know if I'll have a video for, for Call of Duty next. I just don't know if I'll get it edited in time. Either way, I still will be watching it and I'll touch on it when I get back. Once again, I apologize for not having much as much emotion and as being consistent as I have been in the past with videos. I just, my allergies have been kicking my ass. I've been struggling to wake up in the morning and stuff like that. But thank you guys so much for watching nonetheless. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on the video. It really helps the channel grow. It also is you know you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia, signing off. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.